Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2016 Grade 7 8 Contest Question 21, which also came up in the Grade 9 10 and 11 12 contest. So the question is Ian has a pebble caught in his bicycle wheel. If Ian is riding his bicycle at a constant speed of 10 kilometers per hour, one, what is the speed of this pebble when it's at the top of the wheel in relation to the ground? And two, what is the speed of this pebble when it is at the bottom of the wheel in relation to the ground? All right, now the motion of this pebble in relation to the ground is the sum of two motions. Now the first one being the circular motion of the pebble in relation to the bike frame, and the second one being the uniform motion of the bike frame in relation to the ground. Now this vector here represents the uniform motion of the bike frame in relation to the ground and we know that from the question it is 10 kilometers per hour as this bike is moving at a constant speed of 10 kilometers per hour. All right, now let's look at the circular motion of the pebble in relation to the bike frame. So these orange vectors represent the velocity of the, the pebble in relation to the bike frame at different points in time as we can see here. All right. Now the lengths of the vectors are constant and which means that the absolute value of the velocities is also constant and only that the direction changes for this vector. So your left, up, right, down and so on. All right. Now, in order to find the length of this, these vectors, we have to have one more piece of information. Now, from the question, we can assume that this tire is not slipping, which means that this tire isn't on any slippery surface like ice or mud or anything like that. So, especially when the pebble is at the bottom of the wheel, also then the tire is not slipping. And then the velocity of this pebble in relation to the ground is zero. So that means the sum at this point in time, the sum of this vector and this vector must be zero. Well, we know that this vector is 10 kilometers per hour, and that means that this vector here is ten, also 10 kilometers per hour, just in the opposite direction. Okay, so we know when the pebble is at the bottom of the wheel, it has a velocity of zero in relation to the ground. Now, when it's at the top of the wheel, we know that it has the same absolute value of the velocity, so it's 10 kilometers per hour, but now it is in the same direction as the bike frame in relation to the ground. So the sum of these two velocities would be 10 kilometers per hour plus 10 kilometers per hour is 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, so we can see that number one would be 20 kilometers per hour and number two would be a zero kilometers per hour. Well, looking through the options, we can see the correct option is option A, 120 kilometers per hour, and for number two, zero kilometers per hour. All right, now the key to solving this problem is realizing that the complicated motion of the pebble in relation to the ground is actually the sum of two simple motions. And the first one being the pebble's circular motion in relation to the bike frame and the second one being the bike frames uniform motion in relation to the ground. If you'd like to know more about this contest please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.